Over the past few years, scammers have stolen more than 35 billion US dollar from the people worldwide. When scammers take the people and get money, they often change into the cryptocurrency. These funds usually end up in Southeast Asia. Almost three years after starting the online campaign system, the main type of the most damaging is investment scam or we call pickpushing scam, with about 41,000 cases and 644 million US dollars in losses. In the mid of 2022, the victim report pickpushing scam case to the local police station. The criminal approached the victim through online social media. After a month of building a close relationship, they convinced the victim to invest in cryptocurrency through a fake website. The criminal instructed the victim to buy USDT and transfer it into a wallet address they provide. We started cryptocurrency testing in February 2023. There were 13 transfers of USDT to criminal wallet. My team began using open source tools to test the flow of funds. But there was a lot of crypto transaction data and we need to find the previous victim to understand the full scope of criminal network and provide necessary support to those affect. Therefore, we use TRM software to ensure the tracing of financial transactions was accurate and fast. An investigation into the USDT money trail showed that the fund was sent to a non-custodial wallet. Then, 400,000 USDT was withdrawn to the Binance account. By working with the Binance, we found the user is from Laos and had various cryptocurrency worth about 66 BTC. Therefore, we coordinated with the Binance to fit this cryptocurrency. During our investigation, we discovered that there were the other victims from the United States as well. So we coordinated with the US law enforcement agency in Bangkok office based on evidence and TIM graph showing the connection between financial transaction tracing and the suspect, the police obtained an arrest and search warrant from the criminal court. The anti money laundering office seized personal property from the suspect, totaling 30 million US dollars. In this case, a total of five people were arrested. The final outcome, which I'm very proud of, working with anti money laundering office to manage to return all the money to the victims 